What a heartbreaking end. I wish they would have lived happily ever after. Hmm. But never mind. I'm done with chopping onions. Oh, you are already here, friends. I'm sure you must be wondering whether I was weeping out of emotions or due to cutting onions. Well, all I can say is whether we cried during a sad movie, while chopping onions, when we are hurt or for no particular reasons, our eyes are constantly producing tears. So get your tissues ready as we explore the reasons behind a tearful question that affects all of us. That is, why do we cry? Zoom in! Tears are produced by the lacrimal glands located just above the outer corner of each eye and are drained into the tiny openings in the eyelids called the puncta. Crying is a big part of expressing human emotions. We cry when we are sad, happy and for various other reasons. But do you know there are different types of tears? Yes, there are basically three types of tears. Basal, reflex and psycho-emotional tears. Let's start with the one your eyes constantly produce, that is, the basal tear. The basal tear helps to keep your cornea, the transparent front of your eye, nourished and lubricated, so your eyes don't dry out. Normally, you really don't notice the basal tear doing its thing, but they are on duty all the time. Next comes the reflex tears that are designed to wash away harmful particles and substances and are released in much larger quantity. It is the reflex tear you shed while your mom cuts the onion. Last comes the emotional tears that are released in moments of intense feeling like joy, sorrow and when you get hurt while playing. To stabilize your mood as they contain stress hormones and natural painkiller that helps you to feel better. Trivia time! Did you know, unlike adults, babies use crying more than just a means of emotional expression, but as a way of communication with grown-ups. After all, they are relatively limited in how they can express themselves. It may surprise you to know that there are three types of baby cry. The basic, the angry and pain cry. Also, all vertebrate animals that spend time on land have continuous tears and perhaps reflex tears. Humans are the only animals that seem to cry for emotional reasons. Though there are reports of elephants shedding tears in grief. It's question time! How many types of tears are there? Do write in your answer in the comment section below and hit the like button to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured at the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hmm. Oh, so, hope you enjoyed today's episode. And until next time, it's me. Dr. Binox zooming out. <laughs>